Hello everyone, a warm welcome back to Mohana Astrology. Today's video is about Aries, Moon Sign and Ascendants and how the month of June is going to be for all of you. So before I start with the predictions, let's quickly see how the planets are placed in the sky for you. In the beginning of the month, you have Rahu, Jupiter, Mercury in your in your own sign, that's in Aries. In the second house, you have Sun. Sun will move to your third house in the middle of the month. And then uh, Mercury will also go to Taurus on 7th. Then we have a big event in the month of June that Saturn is turning retrograde on 17th of June in the sign of Aquarius, that's your 11th house. Next comes uh, Mercury is again changing sign and is going to Gemini. That's on 24th June and then Ketu is moving to Chitra Nakshatra. That's on 26th of June. Well, another event which I missed and that is uh, Jupiter is also changing nakshatras. Jupiter is going to Bharani Nakshatra and uh, it's on 21st of June. So this is the situation in the sky for you and let's now see how the month is going to be as far as your ascendant and as your moon sign is also concerned. Please note here that at the end of this video I have some specific predictions for Aries moon signs based on your birth nakshatra and based on how the Jupiter and Ketu's nakshatra change is going to be for you. So watch till the end of the video to know the results. Let's now begin. Your sign Lord Mars will be debilitated in Cancer in your fourth house. But let's first talk about what is positive for you in the month of June. Venus coming to your fourth house is good for property matters. It's good for money. And also Venus here is going to give some stability and peace in your domestic affairs. But let's not forget that Venus is coming to Cancer. I'll discuss that just in a minute. And Mars is also there. Mars and Venus both are looking at your profession house in June and the Lord of Profession and Income, Saturn, is getting retrograde in his Mool Tricone sign of Aquarius in your 11th house. It's actually beneficial for you as far as your money and income is concerned. You can look forward to a professionally and income-wise fruitful phase. However, Saturn's retrogression can have some negative impact on your health and on your relationship with your friends and elders in the family. As Mars is debilitated in June and will also cross Gandanta, Mars in this stressful condition is unable to function in the usual manner. You being Aries, being the go-getter, would like to make things happen at a fast pace. But the debilitated Mars is not capable of supporting that. At the end of the month, Mars will go through the Cancer Leo Gandanta causing a lot of emotional turmoil for you. On top of that, Saturn is aspecting your sign and Rahu is also placed there. Therefore, health issues, low energy, impatience and frustration can bother you in June. You should try to remain calm and avoid conflicts in this month. Mars in Cancer with Venus there can cause emotional outbursts, can cause shimmering anger in you and that is actually not good for your blood pressure, heart and overall health. Take care in the last week of the month when both are close together. The saving grace is Jupiter is being placed in your sign and that helps a lot. Even in these difficult situations, as the month progresses, 
and Jupiter moves away from Rahu, you will gradually gain stability, confidence and optimism. You can say that the divine grace is protecting you in the most difficult month of the year. Venus in the fourth house brings possibilities of property deals in June. However, it would be best to hold back any investments in property and vehicles. You can sell your house and car though, and that will bring you a good amount of returns. If you drive, remain a bit careful. Sun in your second house in the first half of the month will bring family issues and financial matters in the focus. It will also cause high expenditure. But as sun moves to your third house in the middle of the month, things will change and you will try to overcome the difficulties with your own effort. It is also fruitful for financial matters. Your creative side will also flourish after the mid-month. Almost at the same time, on 17th, Saturn is turning retrograde in your 11th house of gains. If you are married, your married life will see some emotional ups and downs. Domestic atmosphere will be manageable in the first two weeks, but after that, there can be conflicts which can cause rifts between partners, be it your uh, personal partner in your personal life or your professional partner in your business. Jupiter's aspect on your marriage and partnership house shows that there are possibilities of mending the relationship or a wise decision will be taken about marriage and partnership which will be beneficial in future. If you are looking for a new love, the second half of June is better for that. If you have children, you will see that they are going to do better as the month progresses. Your father's health will be good. If you are planning for a long trip, the second half of June is good for that. Change of residence is a possibility for some of you too. Work-wise, June is a good month for you. This month, expenditure can happen on yourself, on improving your health and personality as well. It would be a good month for you if you take things easy, relax a bit and take good care of your health. Do not stretch yourself too much in June. Now some specific predictions for Aries moon signs. Jupiter will change Nakshatra on 21st June and will move to Bharani. Ketu will also change Nakshatra and will move to Chitra on 26th. Based on these two changes, I shall now discuss some Nakshatra-based specific predictions for Aries moon signs. Jupiter's move to Bharani can bring health-related difficulties for Bharani-born Aries people. In other areas of life, Bharani people will get moderate results. For Ashwini and Kritika born Aries moon signs, this will open up great financial gains and a phase of good food, enjoyment and family get together. People will be supportive of you. If you are planning to get married, this phase is also good for that. Bharani born Aries moon signs will benefit the most from Ketu's move to Chitra Nakshatra. They will have some peace and good times in married life now. You will have improvement in business and also prosper in life. Ketu in Chitra can pose difficulties in married life and in business partnership for Ashwini and Kritika born Aries moon signs. Their spouse's health will also need care. So that's all for Aries Ascendants and Moon Signs for the month of June. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you feel that this video is giving some guidance to you for the upcoming month of June, do like it, share it and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. It keeps me going, keeps me enthusiastic. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.